Dear colleagues, this is an iatrogenic corneal abrasion. The patient has come for cataract surgery. This corneal abrasion has occurred in the ward while preparing the patient by uh, one of our workers. The patient is already on operating table. And if I tell the patient that surgery cannot be done, there is some abrasion on the cornea, it has to heal, the patient will go through some psychological upset. So what I have decided is, I'll do the surgery, I will abrade the unhealthy epithelium and place a BCL, a bandage contact lens. Now this abrasion is will cause some disturbance in visibility. So I have already stained the anterior capsule of the cataract with tripan blue dye. Now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. Now one more side port is made on the right side of the main incision. Now a 26 gauge bent cystitome is taken and the anterior capsule is incised. This is a curved C-like incision. A nice flap has been made. This capsular flap is held with the iterator forceps and a controlled almost circular rexis is performed. And now hydro dissection is to be done. Before doing hydro dissection, the posterior leaf is depressed and a little bit of viscoelastic substance is allowed to come out. And now hydro dissection is done. Fluid wave is injected just underneath the anterior capsular rim. And we can see that the fluid wave goes from one equator to the opposite equator. The nucleus is mobilized and the tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. Here it is. I have gone in this case bevel down and then I have turned it and made it bevel up. And as usual, I am doing direct job for this case, several sculpts to engage the phaco tip. And now I chop, rotate the nucleus, chop it at another place. This free nuclear fragment it is chopped at another place. The free nuclear fragment is emulsified and engulfed. Faco power in this case was 60%, flow rate was 45 ml per minute and vacuum was 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Cataracts 3 Faco machine. Since the abrasion, since the uh, corneal edema, epithelial edema is off center on the temporal side. The, it is not causing much problem in emulsification. That's it. The nucleus has been managed. Now the cortical lens matter is to be removed. Viscoelastic substance is injected into the antechamber so that the antechamber remains formed. I am using a Simco cannula, 23 gauge Simco cannula to remove the cortical lens matter. That's it. Most of the cortical lens matter has been removed. I go through the side port and remove the cortical matter that is sub-incisional as well as on the 
the right side of the main incision. Now I go through the side port on the right side and remove this sub incisional cortical lens matter. So the cortex is removed. Now uh, an intraocular lens is being implanted. Oh no, some yes, some cortical lens matter was there at around 10:30 o'clock, which I could not remove with Simco cannula, and that has been removed with bimanual eye. Now some polishing of the posterior capsule has been done, just by irrigation. Now a uh, hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens is implanted under irrigation. Irrigating fluid keeps the anterior chamber formed and the lens is injected into the anterior chamber. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is guided into the capsular bag and both the haptics take shelter at the equatorial region of the capsular bag. That's it. Now, this is moxifloxacin. Now I am going to hydrate the side ports with BSS with balanced salt solution. And now a final wash is given with, with Simco and the anterior chamber is nicely formed before I go to handle the corneal abrasion. Here it is. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. And now I take now I take capsular excess forceps and remove the edematous epithelium. And then I take a 15 number BP blade to make to abrid some more epithelium so that I go to the healthy epithelium that's it now a bandage contact lens is placed over the cornea to cover this corneal abrasion here it is this is the bandage contact lens it is placed over the abraded cornea. This bandage contact lens was placed in BSS in a bowl with BSS. It was nicely uh, washed and then it was placed. So we can do this I think. We, uh, we, uh, if we return the patient uh, if we notice some iatrogenic corneal abrasion, if we return the patient, the patient goes through some psychological upset. So we can manage such cases in this way.